This video explains how to count the occurrences of values in a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains five rows and three columns. And all of these columns contain character letters. Now let's assume that we want to count the number of occurrences of the letter B in only one of the columns. So in this case, in the column X2. Then we can apply the sum function, as you can see in line seven of the code. And within the sum function, we need to specify the name of our data frame. Then we need to specify the dollar operator to extract the values of a certain column. So in this case, we want to extract the values of the column X2. And for that reason, we are specifying this column name after the dollar operator. And then we are using the equal sign operator to create a logical condition. And in this logical condition, we specify that we want to search for the character B in our column X2. So after running line seven of the code, you can see that the value three is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this value is the count of occurrences of the character B in the column X2. And we can confirm that by having a look at our data frame. And as you can see, the character B is contained three times in the column X2. So in this first example, I have explained how to count the number of occurrences of a certain value in only one of the columns of the data frame. However, it's also possible to count the number of occurrences in the entire data frame. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in line nine of the code. And in this example, we are once again using the sum function. However, this time I'm setting the logical condition within the sum function to search for the character B in the entire data frame, not only in the column X2. So after running line nine of the code, the value nine is returned. And this is the count of occurrences of the character B in all the columns of our data frame. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.